What's going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. I'm Justin Tech and today is part two of my Philips Hue hacks kind of mini series, I guess. <laughs> Last week I showed off all the different Philips Hue hacks with voice assistants, third party apps, and some other cool stuff. Today I'm talking a bunch of DIY tips and tricks for installing your Philips Hue lights around your house. And don't worry, I've thrown links to all of the products that I'm talking about today in the description. Let's go. Philips Hue bulbs can reach a maximum of 806 lumens. And in the past, I've made videos comparing them to other bulbs on the market, and they don't get as bright as I'd like them to. There are hints that brighter bulbs are on the horizon. I made a video on that, so you should totally check it out. But in the meantime, what I've been doing and what you can do if you have some extra bulbs lying around is use this bulb splitter. These bulb splitters are really inexpensive at $7 for two or $11 for six. While these splitters are inexpensive, of course the bulbs aren't, but if you have extra ones lying around, this is a really great way to get more light coming from a single fixture. Now let's talk about LED strip installation and specifically used LED strips. In our bathrooms, we used a metal bracket system from Amazon to securely install used strips to the underside of our floating vanity. These brackets allow for the strips to be reattached easily without the worry of them falling off. We measured and cut the sizes we needed, screwed in the clip holders, and placed the LED strips into the channel and used the adhesive when possible. Then we popped on the plastic cover, which also acts as a great diffuser for the strips. This ties into my next installation tip, which is placing motion sensors on the floor. This is great for those of you who are taking those bathroom breaks in the middle of the night. In order to help guide you on your way to the bathroom, I recommend placing a motion sensor under your bed. The motion sensor will sense your feet and give you the perfect trickle of lighting to help you on your journey. Next, I want to show off a couple inexpensive fixtures for shining your hue lights on the wall. Hue already sells a bunch of lights that shine off the wall, like the Hue Bloom, the Hue Iris, the Hue Go, and I've reviewed these on the channel, but they're a bit more expensive. So I found a way to mimic this using a canister fixture and standard Hue bulb. First, there's the black canister, which shines straight up. This is great for throwing in a corner of a room and looks awesome behind objects. Then there's this spotlight canister. The great thing about this one is you can adjust the light to shine at any angle, giving you more flexibility than the other lights designed to splash off the wall. These fixtures go anywhere from $20 to $25, and again, those links are down in the description. Now for my favorite and possibly the most useful tip, and it's really simple, double-sided Velcro tape. I've been using this Velcro tape to adhere Hue Play Bars to my computer monitor or our speakers at Toby's house. Personally, I like to be able to move around the Hue Play Bars so that I can use them in different ways, especially when I'm creating videos, I like to have some cool splashes of light in the back. These Hue Play Bars can just be removed from where they are now and I can throw them on the ground, splash some light up, whatever I wanna do with them. This is also a great option for LED strips if you just wanna place them somewhere else for a bit. Okay, I've got some homework for you. If you haven't seen last week's video, go check it out. There are a lot more tips and tricks for Philips Hue. And I have a whole video, the ultimate smart switch guide for Philips Hue, which you gotta check out if you haven't seen it. It's gonna show you so many cool accessories for controlling your lights. I'll throw that down in the description. I've got videos coming out every Thursday. We got smart home, Philips Hue, and just tech that I think is awesome. Uh, so you guys, you know, you gotta subscribe. You gotta click that bell for alerts. That way you know when it comes out. And if you enjoyed today's video, you should give it a like. I'm Justin and I'll tech you later. <laughs>